Some of the most legendary warplanes in the world have been the result of close collaboration between two or more nations. Aircraft like the P-51 Mustang or the Typhoon Eurofighter owe part of their success to having the input of more than a single country. Now, Japan is employing this same strategy, as it recently opted to continue using the iconic American McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle as the basis for their groundbreaking incoming F-15 JSI Super Interceptor Jet. The scheme is simple. To modify the reliable and battle-tested F-15 and transform the 1980s aircraft into a modern warfare powerhouse capable of engaging in electronic warfare with state-of-the-art weapon systems. The Super Interceptor will also be fitted with the Advanced Display Core Processor 2 system, widely considered the most advanced mission computer in the world. With the ambitious move, Japan hopes to combine the reliability of American engineering with cutting-edge Japanese technology to create a Super Interceptor capable of defending Japan from the growing threats of neighboring nations. A looming menace. For a long time, Japan has depended on the United States for defensive guarantees. Still, as the geopolitical situation becomes more complex by the minute, the Asian island nations have been seeking to develop their own means of defense. As tensions rise in Asia and around the world, Japan has realized how vulnerable its defenses are compared to the swiftly expanding Chinese and Russian military forces. Recent reports suggest China and Russia have far surpassed the airborne capabilities of Japan, as China allegedly possesses six warplanes for every Japanese counterpart, advancing its technology at breakneck speeds. In addition, both nations have efficiently replaced their Cold War-era fighter planes with modern combat jets, like the multi-role J-10 and J-20, or the Su-57 Russian stealth fighter. As such, Japan is already working on developing its own sixth-generation fighter to meet the overwhelming threat, but the development cycle of a new-generation warplane can take decades, and Japan needs a more expedited solution. For several years, Japan has been buying American fourth-generation F-15 Eagle fighters to bolster its air force, and it has recently decided to seriously update its old Eagles into something much more efficient at deterring foreign attacks. Japan thus pledged $4.5 billion to upgrade their 98 Boeing F-15J fighters to the Japanese Super Interceptor, or JSI, standard. If the plan works as intended, Japan will be able to improve the capabilities of the old F-15s so that they might be equivalent to their limited number of stealthy F-35 Joint Strike fighters. But as urgent as the situation is, the upgrade progress has encountered several obstacles that have delayed the deployment of the novel Super Interceptor several times. Undefeated. The McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle is an iconic American fighter jet that was initially developed in the mid-1960s during the height of the Cold War. The aircraft first took to the skies in 1972, quickly becoming one of the most successful combat fighters in aviation history. The Eagle has been exported to Israel, Japan, and Saudi Arabia, and it has achieved a formidable combat record anywhere it goes with over 100 victories and no losses in aerial combat. The formidable Eagle can achieve Mach 2.5 speeds, fly almost vertically, and deploy a wide variety of payloads. Some of its most daunting achievements include when it shot down a satellite and the time an Israeli pilot lost one of the aircraft's wings and still managed to land safely. During the late 1970s, Japan made a deal with the United States to buy over a hundred Eagles and assemble them in Mitsubishi factories. The Eagles that were completed on the island were known as the Mitsubishi F-15J DJ Eagles. But as formidable as the aircraft is, it eventually became apparent that it needed to be updated. In 1980, the Japanese government applied for access to advanced F-15 technology through the U.S.-Japan Forum in order to upgrade its fleet of Eagles. However, the motion was denied, and Japan was stuck with the older version. Today, Japan is looking to upgrade the F-15 with its own technology and in line with its own priorities, but the intention of developing a powerful new super interceptor capable of facing the most powerful Russian and Chinese warplanes. 
old plane new systems. The new enhancements to Japan's Eagles would bring 98 aircraft up to the F-15 JSI Japanese Super Interceptor standard, including a new electronic warfare system, new avionics, and new weapons capabilities. The idea is to operate the new enhanced Eagles to complement Japan's fleet of Lockheed Martin F-35s. It is expected that the two improved fleets will provide enough defense mechanisms until the new generation FX fighter is ready to be deployed around 2035. Still, developing a new sixth generation fighter while upgrading a large number of older warplanes has significantly affected Japan's defense budget. The F-15 JSI Japanese Super Interceptor has been delayed two times because the budget could not be assigned in 2020 and 2021. In addition, the project was reduced from $4.5 billion to a $3.5 billion budget in order to be accepted. It is expected that some of the upgrade will be reduced due to this cut. Nevertheless, the enhancements still on the table include the Raytheon APG-82 One Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar and Boeing's Advanced Display Core Processor 2 Mission Computer, which will take the 1980s technology into a new era of modern electronic performance. Also, Boeing will work as a contractor and advisor for Mitsubishi as it undertakes the massive modifications to the F-15 fleets. State-of-the-art capabilities. The advanced AESA radar will give the F-15 JSI new air-to-ground capabilities and the power to conduct naval patrol and interceptor missions. And the aircraft will also carry Japan's powerful indigenous air-to-air -air missile the advanced AAM-4B. The JASDF F-15s will also receive Link-16 data link connectivity and will be equipped with the Joint Helmet Mounted Queuing System, or JHMCS, which provides the pilot with a first-look, first-shoot weapons engagement capability. The helmet display will enable the pilot to accurately queue onboard weapons and sensors against enemy aircraft and ground targets without forcefully turning the plane or placing the mark in the heads-up display for designation. Japan also wants to increase the number of AIM-120 medium-range air-to-air missiles to the F-15 JSI can carry from 12 to 18, as that has been one of the most significant complaints from their own F-35 aircraft, which have fewer missile capacity than similar warplanes used by Russia and China. However, the U.S. Defense Security Corporation agencies have again refused to allow measures to extend the life of the F-15J airframe or provide Japan with the resources to equip the airframes with composite materials that would reduce the F-15 radar cross-section. In response to this, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries is considering integrating a domestic solution for the stealth capabilities of their new Super Interceptor aircraft. But as impressive and extensive as the upgrade package is, it will not include any new engines or fly-by-wire flight control systems. They will not experience an increased range capability either, with their fuel and propulsion systems remaining essentially the same. Still, if the plan continues to progress, Japan will soon have a modern and capable interceptor with a world-class armament bolstered by a state-of-the-art computer and able to engage in electronic warfare in real time. Japan hopes this daring upgrade will be able to buy them enough time to develop their sixth-generation fighter, which will finally give them the defensive capabilities they need to deter potential attacks. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed this story, don't hesitate to click on your screen and check out our other Dark Documentaries channels for more fascinating history-inspired content. Also, click on the bell icon to be notified of our newest videos. Stay tuned.